When that time comes, the whole world will have shrunk to a point. And the traditional role of the city as a meeting place for man would have ceased to make any sense. In fact, men will no longer commute. They will communicate. They won't have to travel for business anymore. They'll only travel for pleasure. I only hope that when that day comes, and when the city is abolished, the whole world isn't turned into one giant suburb. In that world of the future, we will not be the only intelligent creatures. One of the coming techniques will be what we might call bioengineering, the development of intelligent and useful servants among the other animals on this planet, particularly the great apes and in the oceans, the dolphins and whales. You know, it's a scandal of which we should be thoroughly ashamed that prehistoric man tamed all the domestic animals we have today. We haven't added one in the last 5,000 years. It's about time we did so, and with our present knowledge of animal psychology and genetics, we could certainly solve the servant problem with the help of the uh, monkey kingdom. And of course, eventually our super chimpanzees would start forming trade unions and we right back where we started. However, the most intelligent inhabitants of that future world won't be men or monkeys. They'll be machines, the remote descendants of today's computers. Now, the present-day electronic brains are complete morons, but this will not be true in another generation. They will start to think, and eventually they will completely outthink their makers. This is depressing. I don't see why it should be. We superseded the Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal men, and we presume we're an improvement. I think we should regard it as a privilege to be stepping stones to higher things. I suspect that organic or biological evolution has about come to its end, and we're now at the beginning of inorganic or mechanical evolution, which will be thousands of times swifter. But even if the future does belong to the robots, our bodies and our brains still have immense untapped potentialities. For example, to cope with the information explosion, we may develop a machine for recording information directly onto the brain. As today, we can record a symphony on tape. So, we may one day be able to become instant experts, uh, learning Chinese overnight, for example. Or, we may be able to recall completely memories of past events so that we seem to relive them. In fact, techniques are already known for doing this in a rather limited way at the present. Alternatively, we may prefer to totally erase past unpleasant memories. Our bodies will also be more efficient and they'll...